this thing is a monster this is the best backpack blower on the market right now that tube right there that 3.6 inch tube for leaf cleanups is awesome you got if you guys get this blower you won't be disappointed in spending that money on this blower Just finished up here, started at our shortest point. All you do is follow that line in stripes of light and dark. Started out with our verts, ended up doing or finishing off with our diagonals to get our diamond pattern. And if you want to, check out bigleaflawns.com and get yourself a checkmate, all right? You can have your lawn looking just like this cutting down that time all right so that's what landscapers love we love cutting down time producing good quality work but at a fraction of our time that allows us to get more yards done get them done good and efficiently and make more money what's going on guys welcome back to the channel all right we are ready to go ahead and start up uh, some of the equipment here in the garage uh, but I just want to basically have you guys watch what I'm doing and see how many pools it takes to get uh, everything started. Uh, probably going to start the weed eater and the blower first, then let that run, cut the video off, and then bring back guys back in for the mowers. Um, basically, this is just the uh, show of me talking to you guys about that fuel stabilizer stuff that I've been talking about in some of my videos, uh, showing you guys that you should be using that stuff and using it correctly, fuel stabilizer, putting it in your gas tank or filling your gas tanks up first with the fuel and then putting fuel stabilizer in it and then running uh, your piece of equipment before you store it over the winter so that, that all that gas in there can be treated and that gasoline doesn't get bad in your fuel lines or carburetors and then gunks up your carburetors or fuel lines. So I'm just gonna show you guys the startup of everything and then Make sure everything's running properly before I go ahead and go off to my first spring cleaning and get all my yards done uh, for the day. So, Okay, next up on the list, we have the 48 inch right Velky. I know this is what you guys really want to see. So let's see if she'll start on the first uh, hit here. Choke on. I have not charged the battery. I actually was thinking now I should have put it on a battery tender, but I didn't. So let's see here.
took a couple seconds to start, but started right up. Okay guys, next up we have the Toro Time Master, the 30 inch cut. Uh, it has the dual blades, 30 inch cutting width, Toro Time Master, uh, 190 cc engine. Uh, as you guys know, if you had one or have one, uh, there is no choke, there is no prime. All it is is just a regular pull start. So we're gonna see how many pulls it'll take to get the Toro Time Master started here.